By your sweet, sweet, sweetest Princess Silk. At what time is dinner? That is already a very intrinsically complicated question in my worldview because I have a lot of those worldviews. I am your sweet super soft sound, Principessa Silkita, sitting on a completely renewed spot, never been here before. My back is tired, I can lean my back in a, yeah, it's not a wooden bench, it's just stone. It is not too loud, so the fountain will not disturb you. I am generous and soft and kind. Yeah, and softness, that is my name. So I arrived to the United States of America and dinner became an issue, a problem issue. First and foremost, from where I came from, dinner is not an important meal. You shouldn't actually eat dinner. Dinner is in the evening, right? Like six-ish? Breakfast is in the morning, yeah, anywhere between, I don't know, 5, 6 a.m. to, I don't know, maybe 11. Lunch we don't have, which in the America of the North is at noon. And a short and relevant food. If you go out, if you work somewhere and need to go outdoors, soup and salad would be the suggestion. So it's a hot meal, and then you get another one in yeah in the States, which is dinner at six ish or something. And what happened with la comida? Spanish for, yeah, well, it would not be translated as dinner, because it's not dinner. That would be la cena or merienda. Now here come the obnoxious, loud, wanting to appear in the atacolacho. It's rude and offensive and it hurts me. I mean, but I actually have a moment of enjoying the hot stone where the sun has been shine, shining upon. So my bench is warm. See, dinner, la comida. So that is the main food. The main food in Mexico is la comida. And that happens, uh, yeah, alrededor de kind of pretty much around any time you can between I mean two or four but not at six usually very similar to Germany where the main food is exactly that and it happens maybe at one or two or and in France in France it happens between two and five six eight. or in Spain same or in Italy or in Greece that's when people you know eat and have a siesta so in the United States arriving, I pretty much spent my entire day starving. I don't eat breakfast. I could eat something, but in an hour or two, I'm already super starving and hungry. And if I don't eat, I am not starving or hungry. I do not snack. I don't like it. It, it doesn't satisfy me, it doesn't allow me any any good. If I'm hungry, I want to have my food, not a snack. So he tell Yaiki, food, I'm hungry. And he says, dinner is at six. Yeah, you should have seen my face right now. Dinner is at six. See, I'm not much into traditions. Because they do stuff even if it does not make any sense. So what time do the kids come out of school? Now they have to get a snack and wait for dinner. I think they got early dinner, by the way. Because they were hungry and he eventually adjusted. But I told him, I'm starving. Why wait so late? And have the large meal? Yeah, 
Not exactly before you go to bed, but you know, nearer. That is not very productive. Well, he wasn't up for change. I am up for change. Can I? Bring you to the six where I really stay. Baby. Show you why I am the way I am. Can I? Tell you what I think my biggest flaw is. Baby. I try to be consistent, but I can't. Can I? Have an honest moment with you right now. Baby. Tell me who the fuck you wanna be. Can I? Get an honest answer from you right now. Baby. Cause all we ever talk about is me. Can I? Before I turn the lights on. Before I turn the lights out, tell me who the fuck you wanna be. Can I? Call a steady text you on the hotline. Sometimes a nigga wanna hear your voice. Can I? See you right now, I know the sun is up. Baby. Sorry, I don't really have a choice. Can I? Ever make you feel like I'm down for you. Baby. Do so much more than that for me. Can I finally take the time and open up to you, baby? Cause that's the side you never get to see. Can I?